See the next problem, the fifth one. Can you get a pure cert when you find the sum of two certs? The second point, the difference of two certs, the product of two certs, the quotient of two certs, justify each answer with the example. Pure certs are 4 points. So first, third means what? The irrational root of a rational number. It is denoted by the nth root of a. The n belongs to the natural number. n belongs to the natural number. The n greater than 1. Okay. So which is the irrational root of the rational number. Which is called third number. The sum of two sets. Uh, and add the answer to the answer. We will add the answer to the answer. The first one, yes, we will add the third number. For example, uh, cube root of 21. The cube root of 21. Now, what is this? 2 into cube root of 21 answer. So, this is also third number. See the second one, the difference of two thirds, subtract pondro, difference and subtract pondro. That's the third number. The example, the seventh root of 23, 7 into 7 into subtract 7 into 23 minus 6 into 23. The 7 minus 6, the root 23 is a common. So 7 minus 6, 1 into 23. So, the difference of two thirds is equal to the third number. The third point, product, cube root of 5 into cube root of 4. Two thirds and up and wrong. This is the example. We will check the third number. Check the third Cube root of 5 into cube root of 4 is equal to the cube root of 5 fours are 20. The cube root of 20 also the third number. The fourth point, the quotient of two thirds. The root 2 into root 5. That is the quotient. Root 2 all we divide. Divide this will be cancelled. The answer root 5 will come. So this is also third number. So yes, third one also yes. Fourth one answer also yes. But third number add third number. Likewise the difference product and quotient also. Pretty for next problem. Next question, the sixth question. Can you get a rational number when you compute the sum of two thirds, the difference of two thirds, the product of two thirds, the quotient of two thirds, justify each answer with an example. For last problem, Last problem is, can you get the pure thirds? That is the example of yes. Pure sides are going to be can you get a rational numbers? What is the mean by rational number? The P by Q, Q not equal to 0. This is the rational form. So, in this same statement, the sum of two thirds and so on. So, that is the rational number. That is the number of example. The first one, the first point is sum of two thirds. When I have to say 5 plus root 3, up to one third, plus another one, 5 minus root 3. This is another one third. The sum of these two thirds is equal to 5 plus root 3 plus 5 minus root 3. Plus root 3 minus root 3 cancel item. 5 plus 5, 10. So this is the rational number. This is the rational number so yes we can get the rational number two thirds example third number kondu vara mudiyum inga rational number nu kettadnal two thirds add panni rational number kondu vara mudiyum illaya the second one the difference but difference ku epdi edukrom paarenga idhe same number e kuda podalam 5 plus root 3 minus ping enna seiyalam the minus 5 Minus root 3. So this is also third number. It is third number. It is third number. But subtract 5 plus root 3 minus into minus plus 5. The minus plus is not there. So we can get what we can The rational number is not there. Plus into plus minus into plus minus root 3. So we can get what we can 
so this will be cancelled अब 5 plus 5 इंगे एन वर लाँ, 10 वर लाँ अब ना सेम नम्बर एड़त रुखे, निम्म वेवेर नम्बर एड़त कोड़े नम्म एन से लाँ फुरू पन लाँ For example, another word in example For second point, इप 5 इक्बल एन एड़क रहें, 6 एड़क रहें 6 plus root 3 minus minus 6 plus root 3 ये root 3, root 4 कोड़े एड़क लाँ root 4, ये root 4 So, इप सब्प्राइट पन रहें 6 plus root 4 minus into minus plus 6 minus into plus minus root 4 root 4 minus root 4 cancel 12 12 is a rational number 12 is a rational number 10 yeah, 10 is a rational number புரிதுங்கள் so நாம் எந்த number ஒன்னல் அடுத்துகள் நாம் எடுத்துகிறது third number ஆருக்குனோம் இல்லியா the third one is product of two thirds இப்பு பருங்க the 3 plus root 2 into 3 minus root 2 நடுக்கிறேன் okay to thirds இப்போ இதை product பண்டுகிறேன் this is the formation of a plus b into a minus b so the a square minus b square so which is 3 square 9 this is minus 2 இல்லையா equal to 7 it is a rational number it is a rational number then fourth point what is that the quotient of the thirds இப்போ 5 into root 2 divided by root 2 அப்படி நிடுத்துக்குறோம் okay so root 2 cancel now the 5 is a rational number so yes we can get the rational number புரியுதுங்கள் இப்போ next problem பார்க்கலாம்